Hello there, my name's Tim Masters. I'm head of design here at Blackheath High School. What we'll be doing today is showing you the design process through sketching and making prototypes of what we do through year seven, eight, nine, right the way through up to sixth form here. Okay, here on this table, you can see um, a variety of students' work, right from year seven, eight, nine, and 10, um, starting with Phoebe's at the top there. And what we like so much about Phoebe's work is the variety of different processes that she uses. She's been doing some sketching here to scale um, and then has decided that she actually needs to go to carb modeling. So she's knocked up a little carb model there to show how she's gonna make her piece. Beautiful sort of a combination of materials in that folder. Next one down is Sophia's and she's got some very tight, sharp designs over there of a acrylic and pewter uh, panel. And then here, she's actually made another carb model to show how the acrylic laser cut pieces fit into the pewter. Moving down, this is a year nine project, and this is an architectural one, and you can see Alice has used all sorts of different um, techniques using grid paper for scale, and she's getting her ideas across in a variety of different ways. Again, she has just decided what she wants to do. So she makes a model of it, she 3D sketches it, she does whatever she wants to do, really, and there's some nice 3D sketching here. She's got very good 3D perception, Alice, as has Rachel in year 10, and you'll see here she's doing a sort of an architectural um, tower, really, um, and this one's called Gary. We like to name our, uh, name our designs, and if you can draw like this, that's very good. If you can't, that's also very good. What we do, if you can't draw like this, we model, and we're going to go over to the model table now, which is over here. Okay, so here we are at the model table and you'll see a variety of different bits and pieces. None of them are finished products. They are steps along the way to the product. And we just looked at Rachel's drawings. Here are some three-dimensional realizations of her pieces. They are rough and ready and they are supposed to be because she's working out how things go together, working out the shapes of these pieces here, these projections, the way their joints go together, similar one here. That is actually a very similar, that is actually the same design, but it's a development. This one is actually the one after this one. Equally, we've got another, this is quite a quick model that's been made on the laser cutter with layers of cardboard by Rhea, and she's working out the geometry of a, of a uh, not a spiral staircase, a curved staircase. Um, here we've got a GCSE project from Clio, and a sort of a, uh, this was an adaptable room, uh, sort of, you know, flat space, if you like. Um, over here, we have a few more bits and pieces. Rhea again. Um, Rhea is a very architectural student. She likes everything to be transparent and looks like buildings. So you can see a nice little glass box there. But the detail is really, really clever here. She's made what we call a jig. Whoops. She's made a jig here um, in MDF with an angle of 45 degrees. And then you slot a piece of acrylic into the jig. That's the wrong way up. No, it's not the right way up. That's right. That's right the first time like that, and then the laser cutter cuts down like so, creating a 45 degree angle. She turns the piece around, does the same, repeat four times, and then it goes together with a chamfered, what we call a chamfered edge. Beautiful little detail. And then here we have two or three more um, little prototypes or maquettes. Nice little card one. And a, this was a model for a uh, diving tower, uh, like a swimming, uh, swimming diving tower if you like, okay, and that was Ella working out the geometry again and the spacing of these steps to get up to the top of the tower. I love these models, I just love the fact that you're working things out, and they are rough and ready, but that's what they should be. The last one is actually a tiny little, uh, again a detail piece for quite a big project, and it's done with a laser cutter, you can see, with a bit of bendy ply around the outside, so it's hollow, it's quite solid, and she's working out the different types of finish that she likes. So that's just a test piece. The last table is the finished product table with a few more prototypes, and we're gonna go over there right now. Okay, this table here is, there are some final products on it, but there are also some prototypes on it as well. And really what I wanted to show you was the importance of the prototypes working along the process to the final product. You'll see some pewter and laser cut um, acrylic sort of panels there that we do as a as a year group project if you like and that comes together as a stained glass window in a sort of modern format. Um, it's quite nice that we use pewter which is a really old 
material along with laser cut acrylic. So, you know, bringing together old and new really. Um, and equally on this, this one here, which is the other end of the scale, this is an A-level um, piece of work. Um, this is a, a lamp design and it's using stuff called jessmonite, which is very fine concrete. So these are all cast from laser cut forms actually. And then there are copper pipes bent in a sort of a plumbing style way really, very industrial sort of method um, to make a stand and connect the pieces together. Same project, different student, there's a pewter cast, quite geometric, spidery form over there. But what I really like about Amy's work is actually these steps here. These are the four steps that, or at least four, I mean, she did lots of drawings as well, and lots of computer work, um, the four steps that she had to go through to actually uh, get to that stage, to, re to sort of, you know, to resolve the difficulties of a three-dimensional geometrically set out piece. Quite tricky. So you can see there's a lot of different experimentation, which is, I hope, what you will see in the, uh, in the next video, 